and the continually harsh public discourse over the president's proposals for federally managed health care, the big government progressives and both the Democratic and the Republican parties have been trying to trick us. These folks who really want the government to care for us from cradle to grave have been promoting the idea that health care is a right. This is a false premise and we should reject it. Health care is not a right, it is a good, like food, like shelter, and like clothing. Okay, what's a right? A right is a gift from God that extends from our humanity. Thinkers from St. Thomas Aquinas to Thomas Jefferson to the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to Pope John Paul II have all argued that our rights are a natural part of our humanity. We own our bodies, thus we own the gifts that emanate from our bodies. So our right to life, our right to develop our personalities, our right to think as we wish, to say what we think, to publish what we say, a right to worship or not worship, a right to travel, to defend ourselves, to use our own property as we see fit, a right to due process, which is fairness from the government, and our right to be left alone are all rights that stem from our humanities. These are natural rights that we were born with. The government doesn't give them to us, and the government doesn't pay for them, and the government can't take them away unless a jury finds that we have violated someone else's rights. What is a good? A good is something we want or need. In a sense, it is the opposite of a right. We have our rights from birth, but we need our parents when we are children, and we need ourselves as adults to purchase the goods we require for existence. So food is a good, shelter is a good, clothing is a good, education is a good, a car is a good, legal representation is a good, working out at the gym is a good, and access to health care is a good. Does the government give us goods? Well, sometimes it takes money from us and gives that money to others. You can call that taxation or you can call it theft, but you cannot call it a right. A right stems from our humanity. A good is something you buy or someone else buys for you. Now, when you look at health care for what it is, when you look at the U.S. Constitution, when you look at the history of human freedom, when you accept the American value of the primacy of the individual over the fleeting wishes of the government, it becomes apparent that those who claim that health care is a right simply want to extend a form of government welfare. Now, when I make this argument to my big government friends, they come back at me with, well, if people don't have health insurance, they will just go to hospitals and we'll end up paying for them anyway. Well, why should that be? We don't let people steal food from a supermarket or an apartment from a landlord or clothing from a local shop. Why do we let them take health care from a hospital without paying for it? Well, my big government friends contend that's charity. Well, they're wrong again. It's impossible to be charitable with someone else's money. Charity comes from your own heart, not from the government spending your money. When we pay our taxes to the government and it gives that money away, that's not charity, that's welfare. When the government takes more from us than it needs to secure our freedoms so it can give some of that money away, that's not charity, that's theft. And when the government forces hospitals to provide free health care to those who can't or won't care for themselves, that's not charity, that's slavery. That's why we now have constitutional chaos, America, because the government steals and enslaves. And we outlawed that a long time ago.